The Franklin and Marshall community is exactly what it says, a community. I spend a lot of time in the College Center, especially when I meet with friends or we'll eat at Pandini's or I'm waiting to go to class or go to work, so I stop through here, check my mail. Right now, I've applied to the Urban Teachers Center and uh, Teach for America, and I'm just waiting to hear back from both of them. My freshman year, I was taking three government classes, and I was on this straight path to government. That was the only thing I was allowing myself to do. I never thought that I'd be an actor here at, at FNM. You have to then, I think you have to cover that so he doesn't recognize your fear. I understand that. It just seemed like the perfect fit for me because being a D3 school, I was able to get the balance between having a team and having the level, level of competitiveness that I wanted for lacrosse but also having the balance of a really strong academic program. So we're walking to my English class now. This dichotomy of service and depth. The depths that are beyond those services are transcendent and meaningful. Hi, Victoria, Dina. You're going to graduate. Oh. Dean Stameshkin really just helped me realize that I loved children. Your Perfect. recommendation that you asked me to write I told them you'd be a great teacher. Now we're off to Ross Elementary School, where I'll meet with about 20 fifth graders. We are preparing for the science fair, which will take place next month. Um, the students are very excited. Hello, class. Hello, Miss Victoria. Let's talk about the scientific method. What was the first step of the scientific method? One, two, three. Save the question. Exactly. I was doing something that I loved, something I was, I was happy about. <laughs> Exactly. This is the perfect opportunity to get those, well, I wish I would have done that, out of the way. So now we're going to the Writing Center, which is where I tutor twice a week. I love tutoring because I love helping people in a way that I didn't know I could before. How are you? Good. Or you're actually helping people with their confidence and you're helping people be motivated to write. Seeing them find their own potential is really rewarding. We're going to the Other Room Theater, and we're actually going there to shoot my final project for my class, uh, acting for the camera. Can you sit and let me, let me get a shot yeah. of that? You've created a family, you know, with the cast and crew, and then you're able to share it. Yes, I knew that, but how does it feel? My brother and I are first-generation college students. So now we're on our way to get our cap and gown for graduation. Just having people invest in, in us and investing blindly, not knowing that we would succeed, not knowing that we would get all the way to graduation. Sorry. This is our cap and gown. It's not just any cap and gown. It's graduating with a bachelor's degree. There's, there's so much that I know that I was able to find where it, I fit, and my brother was able to find where he fit. Perfect, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Especially with this lacrosse team, something I noticed when I visited was just, it's basically a family. This is a picture of our class. We beat Gettysburg in the conference championships last year, and we play them at home today, so that's going to be huge for us. These teams have met the last eight years, every year, for the Centennial Conference Championship game. This is the game that they look forward to the most. Around, Delaney takes a shot to score. Katie Delaney gets the diplomats on the board. And it is seven to seven. From the right, Houston scores. The diplomats are going to win the regular season championship. They have knocked off Gettysburg. We're staying home, baby. It makes me feel like I'm doing something for a reason, and it has a purpose. That purpose is greater than myself. I mean, it's it's about those experiences and being able to share them that that changes people. Thank you, man.